Hi, welcome back to the kitchen. Today I'm doing a pan-fried blue cod that's been dipped in a local made hazelnut dukkah or dukkah. This is how you can buy it again from our wonderful farmers market. Uh, it's a mixture of hazelnuts and some other seeds and spices uh, and what I've done with that is I've mixed it with some commercial dry bread crumbs. So we're going to wonderfully coat that fish as in good old Southland blue cod which is here again available from the farmers market and we're going to serve it with a green sauce and on some wonderful mashed potatoes. So I want to get the fish underway first. So I've got my fry pan on heating up. To that in goes some butter and some oil. I just want to get that nice and hot. So with my fish, here's the, the ducka already in the crumbs. I've got a mixture here of uh, eggs and milk. So what I'm going to do is dip my fish in the egg and milk and then into the ducker crumbed mixture. Just pressing that on. And that's going to go into our hot pan. So we'll do two of these into the egg and milk, and then into the ducker and breadcrumb mixture. Wonderful smell, the dukkha. All those nicely roasted off ingredients. This one goes our other fillet. Pop those out of the way. Need to give a hands wash once they've been dealing with crumbs. So I'm going to basically just quickly pan fry them, then I'm going to finish them off in the oven as well. So again, my pan hasn't got a plastic handle or a wooden handle, so it's going to be able to go straight into the oven. Now we're going to be serving this with some mash. So I've already pre-made some mashed potato, and I've got that in a bowl ready in the microwave just to um, heat up. So of course at home you'd make it from scratch. So we're just going to turn, oops, turn the fish over. So nicely coloured, and now it goes into the oven. Now with this we're going to make a green sauce. So in the green sauce, into our food presser goes some gherkins, which I've just pre-chopped, some capers, some Italian parsley, or just normal parsley is fine as well. And we want to get those processed together. Make sure I'm plugged in. The plugs come out, so we'll get that Back in quickly. So we want those nicely broken down. To that we're going to add the zest of a lemon. So I've got a zester here, which is a really handy tool which most people should be familiar with now. So I'm taking the zest off. And I just want the juice of the lemon as well. We don't want any of those seeds. And they're going to go in with the mixture as well. So this is a quite a nice sauce to go with the fish. And then we just need to finish that off with a wee bit of oil. We're actually doing a version of this dish uh, next term when the boys here at Southland Boys and myself open our Triline Cafe. and ready to go. So we can take that off. Spin it into our container. Give our mesh a boost. So 
bring our fish out, just have a check on how that's going. It's cooking up nice. plate across. I'm also just going to do a wee bit more extra lemon zest just for a garnish. And we've got some wonderful fresh fennel as well again for the market that we can use to finish it off. So here's my mash. Again wonderful south potatoes. Generous amount of our mash. On goes our ducker crusted blue cod. And when we call it a green sauce, it is a sauce, but it stays quite thick. So we put a little quenelle of that on top. Some more of our zest and a wee bit of our fennel to finish off. So there is our wonderful ducker crusted local blue cod with the green sauce on the mash. I'm Scott. Look forward to seeing you next time in the kitchen.